Today we're going to be building a web app chatbot with Microsoft Azure. So let's get on to our first step. So first we're going to want to find something to make our chatbot about. I choose to do an FAQ, which is really easy as the doc is provided with all the questions and answers. And for my sample FAQ, I'm just going to use the Azure certification FAQ, which is right here. So you can either find one that has the link and everything given on the web page, or you can download it. For me, I'm just going to download it, so I'm going to do that right now. First, I have to make sure everything is showing while it downloads, otherwise not all the questions and answers will be observed. Now to download, just hit Control p which will get the printing menu, and then hit Save as PDF, and print all the pages, and then just hit Save. But first, the preview will load, I think, before we save. And as you can see here, all the question and answer pages are right here. But I'm just going to save it into downloads. I already have one from the other day, but I'll save it one. Yes. And I'll be right back. So we're going to want to create a knowledge base with our Q&A pairs. So to do this, navigate to uh, Q&A maker.ai slash create. Then follow the steps listed here. So first we're going to want to create a Q&A service, which we can do by clicking on that button. This will take us to the Azure portal. And here we're going to create our Q&A Maker Cognitive Service. I'm just going to name it CertiQ for now. And for pricing tier, I'm going to do free. Resource group, I'm going to use my existing chatbot resource group. For the pricing tier, I'm also going to do free. And for the search location, East US. App name, straight to is fine. Website location, East US. And we're going to enable App Insights, which you can use later for anal for analyzing. And then create this. And this will create our Q&A service. So I'll be right back when this is done. Now that it has been created, we can go back to the Q&A maker steps. Once here, we have to connect our Q&A service to our knowledge base. So here, we're going to have to refresh. This might take a little while, but it'll get everything uh, up and running. So now we can select our Microsoft Azure directory. I'm just going to select my default directory, subscription name, this subscription, and the Q&A service. So this error will come up. Uh, sometimes I don't really know why it happens, but I'm going to just try to fix it real quick and I'll be right back. So after logging out and logging back in, I can I have fixed the problem. And now you can just select my Q&A service and then select whatever language you want. I'm going to do English. And then for our knowledge base name, I'm just going to do CertiQKB. And then to populate our KB, let's enable multi-turn instructions. And since I didn't use the URL, or wait, let me just put the answer text first. Let's see. I'm just going to do, can you rephrase? And then for our file, I'm just going to add the PDF that I downloaded earlier about with the FAQs. And then for chit chat, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to do professional. And then let's create our knowledge base. And after the knowledge base has been created, we can test it out with a few sample Q&A pairs. And now that it's been created, we can first wait for all the Q&A pairs to appear. And then after that, we can do test. And for our first message, let's just try hi. And it says hello back. So let's try a question from the Q&A. So how many questions are on test? And here we go, it responds back to us with the right answer. So now let's publish the knowledge base. Let me reload just to get the training window out of the way. 
and after this message comes up, you can hit publish. And then after this is done, we have to create our web app bot. And now that we've successfully created our knowledge base, we can create a bot using this button. Once here, I'm going to name my bot just Syracube Bot right here. And then subscription, same subscription for the resource group. I'm going to use chatbot resource group again. And location, I'm going to do East US. And for the pricing tier, I'm going to do free again, which is F0. And the app name is also going to be www.azurewebsites.net. And application insights is on, and the East US should be fine. And then just hit create. And it'll create our web app bot. So I'll be right back when this is done. So after you get the success message and your notifications, you can just go to your resource with this button right here. And now that we're here, we're gonna have to add a channel. So using just go to the channels tab right here. And then once this loads in, we're gonna add a direct line so you can access it from the web. So this button right here is a configure direct line channel. And then we're gonna wanna hit done and now we have a direct line so it's time to use our HTML document so before you proceed make sure you use the zip file in the description and downloaded all the contents and now that we have all these files and uh, directories let's go to index and we're gonna use our text editor for me which is notepad plus plus and we're gonna open our index file then we're gonna go back to the to our shared queue bot channels and go to our direct line. And then we're gonna show our secret key and copy it. After we copy it, go back to the index.html document and where it says your secret key here, just place our secret key with control V. Then do a control S and then go back to our files and then you can open it with double clicking. And this will open our HTML document in the Chrome web browser. And after this is open, we should be able to see our chatbot and we should be able to contact it. So it says hello and welcome. So let's just write hi. And it says hello back. So let's ask another sample question, which is how many questions on test? And it just gives the answer. So that means you've successfully created our web document. So now let's configure the web app to be accessed from any web browser. Now before you do the next step, make sure you have the Azure CLI or command line interface installed on your computer. And then do an AZ login and log in to your Azure account from your web browser. After doing this, navigate to the directory where your chatbot is held. For me, it's this directory. Then copy this command az web app up minus minus location whichever location you want minus minus name whatever name you want minus minus resource group whichever uh, resource group you want minus minus plan whatever plan you want and then minus minus html the resource group and plan are not required but i did them anyways and then after doing this type that into your command line and then hit enter this will deploy our web app for us and provide us with the URL to use to access our uh, chatbot from any web browser. And after all the steps are complete, copy this URL that's given and go to your web browser of choice, paste, and enter. This will take us to a chat or a website with our chatbot, which is the same website as the index document we provided here. And then just to test it out, let's just do the same two commit or the same two questions. So just hi, which isn't really a question, but whatever. And now it says hello back to us. So now the other question is how many questions on test? And it gives us the answer. So congratulations, you have now developed a web app chatbot with Microsoft Azure. So until next time. Bye.